in my last video on Pico Apps, I had a comment on the YouTube video saying, wake me up when it's going to make Android app, which is maybe a good point. It might be a while till AI can make a complete Android app, but that got me thinking, maybe we can do something with Pico Apps right now, generate it from just a prompt, and use it in native app, extend the functionality of a native app, and that is exactly what we're about to do, and it's gonna be very quick and easy and surprisingly good. What we're going to be building is a QR generator app. So let's get started. Our first prompt on Pico Apps will be QR code generator that takes the get query parameter text and the app then generates a QR with this data. So let's create that and see what happens. One change that has now happened with Pico Apps just while this is building, um, you can now edit the code directly and you see it being built. One of the great things with this is, for example, if you just want to change one image and you don't want to rebuild, just put a different image URL in. But the code editor here is going to be a game changer for so many people. And of course, you can just download the code and use it in your project too, if you don't want to just have the Pico Apps hosted page. But that alone, the ability to edit code is huge. Another thing to note is that um, at the corner of the app right now, you've got the built with Pico apps um, floating button. And that's kind of going to annoy some people, but that will also be disappearing from what I've heard when you're on a paid plan. But that isn't quite there yet, but it's coming. Right, so we've got our QR code generator. And let's click on the live link. Okay, now um, I've just got to look on my phone here. I'm actually going to scan it and see if that's got any data. It shouldn't do, but let's check. Yep, so it says no text provided. But now if I add a query parameter, text equals hello, hit enter, it will refresh the page. We've got a new QR there. I'm going to scan that. I don't know if you can see, but it's returned hello, right? So it's working, the QR code generator works. So that seems really simple, right? But how can this really be useful? Well, in a mobile app, you could use dynamic data to feed in the text and generate QR codes on the fly and display that within your app. So what we'll do now is create a quick mobile app using Adalo. If you're not familiar with Adalo, it's a no-code app builder that's really easy to use. It's going to be good for just demonstrating that this works. Okay, so this um, Adalo can build into a native mobile app. And on our home screen here, we're going to have a web view. Okay, like this. And then if we put our if we put our Pico Apps URL into there, okay, on here, on the um, editor page, it doesn't display. Let's preview the app and let's see if that works. Okay, the layout isn't very good, but of course, we're going to iterate and make it better. So don't worry about that just now, but it is working. What we'll do next, we'll say remove QR code generator title. Only the QR should display. Let's try that. Okay, there we've got our QR. Um, next, we want the QR should display at the top left. If the screen size viewport is smaller, adjust the QR size accordingly. Okay, that wasn't that one wasn't very good, um, but we could edit the code directly or prompt it again. But I don't want to get stuck on that to be honest. What I'd like to do next is to make it so it will download when opened. If query parameter download equals true, just download the file. No need to display. Let's try this. Okay, that's finished generating. So now, if we go up here to the live app, let's add our text equals hello. 
all right so that would give the date of the QR but then let's put and download equals true and you can see that just downloaded a PNG okay so now we've got the ability both to dynamically create a QR code and download it so what we could do let's make uh, a bit of an app out of this so we're gonna have an input field okay and this we can just call um, QR data and then let's have a button which will say generate this will go to a new screen let's just call it QR on this screen we will have the displayed QR okay but the way we'll do it is and this should work is instead of having text equals hello we'll have the text being other components all screens home QR data so it's actually going to reference whatever we put into the box um, so that all looks good and then on top of that we want an ability to download so to do that we're going to have a download uh, button which will go to a new screen okay I'm going to make that a blank screen and on this screen we're just going to have a tiny tiny web view um, in fact we could display it I'm not sure it maps much okay and at the end of the link we'll just have and download equals true okay and then maybe just have a button saying finish that will link to our home screen so we should have a thing there where we generate a QR code we can view it and if we want we can download it so let's see if everything is working QR code test generate okay and we've got a QR code there Okay, I do need to probably sort out the settings somewhat. I had it working perfectly earlier, but while making this video, I don't want to get stuck in small details. So let's see if that is correct. I'm going to scan the QR code. And there we can see it says QR code test. Okay, and let's click download. And it downloaded to my computer. And let's scan that again and again it just says QR code test so a QR code scanner is quite simple um, it's just the beginning really you could add many more parameters and you know say I didn't try it but maybe you want an image in the middle of the QR code etc maybe you want a dynamic graph generator it could be anything and you can put this into your mobile app in a web view I believe you can also have it between image tags, but I had to fiddle with the prompts a lot more, but I think I got that working too. But um, for the use case, I found that a web view was working really well um, with the Adalo platform. If you're interested in Adalo and you didn't use it before, I'll have a link in the description. Also a reminder that this made in Pico um, kind of floating badge there will not be there if you're on a paid plan in the future. So let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas of what you are going to make with Pico apps or if you're going to use it for Adalo or in mobile apps, maybe it's Bubble, whatever it might be. And I've got a load of cool content coming about Pico apps, um, including how to do sign up and login and how to connect to databases and maybe soon even a full app build, um, maybe for one of my clients. So. Um, I'm really, really excited about Pico apps and how rapidly they're developing. And do stay subscribed if you want to see more content on AI app generation.